Hi, this is Dr. Bharadwaj. I am a fitness specialist. Today, we are going to discuss on one of the important topics. This topic is debated by everyone and most of the people get it wrong. This is about fats and oils. On this topic, whatever the information is available on internet, 99% of it is wrong, only 1% of it is correct. All this false information rather than benefiting you is harming you and this information is generated by non-professional people. For example, retired police officers, retired lawyers, retired bankers, all the other profession which are not related to this are coming and searching something in the Google or generating some information in the chat GBT about this topic and presenting it to you. This gives lot of false information to you. Next category of people are social influencers. These social influencers, one day they will be talking about politics, next day they will be talking about tech gadget. Third day they will be talking about something else. On fourth day they will be talking about health. So these people are also generating lot of false information which is harming you. Next category of people are celebrities and their brand endorsements. So at least see, you need in-depth knowledge about biochemistry, human anatomy and physiology at least to say something about health or especially these kind of complicated topics. But these guys do not have any idea about that and they will be giving lot of false information and false ad on the TV. This is harming you rather than benefiting you. Today, you will be knowing everything about fats and oils. Especially, you will be knowing bit of biochemistry which is useful and also you will be knowing the fats and oils from the contextual perspective. What I mean by this is, a oil or fat is good in particular context and it can turn out to be very bad or very disruptive in other contexts. The discussion of fats and oils is purely context based. Based on the context, we will discuss which oil is best or which fat is best, which is good and which is not bad. Finally, irrespective of all this discussion, I will let you know about three oils which everyone can use. This is like a cheat sheet. Forget everything about this video. Finally, you remember only these three oils which I am going to tell. That's enough to know about the oils. Now we will discuss little bit about biochemistry of fats and oils because this is very important. Fats and oils are known as a group called lipids. In that lipids, there are different categories. In that different categories, these fats and oils comes under triglycerides or simple lipids. So these simple lipids are chemically made up of two parts. It is very important for you to know. First part is fatty acid and the second part is glycerol. Fatty acid and glycerol combine to form a fat or an oil. This fatty acid part is very important. Depending on the particular type of fatty acid present in the fat, the fat or oil can be determined as a good oil or a bad oil in a particular context. That's the reason you have to understand bit about this fatty acid. And coming to the fatty acid, it is the fatty acid or the type of fatty acid, the quantity of a particular type of fatty acid present in the fat makes it good or bad in a particular context. For general purpose, triglycerides or simple lipids which are solid at room temperature are known as fats and which are liquid at room temperature are known as oils. Based on the type of fatty acid present in a fat, these fats are divided into four categories. First one is saturated fats, second one is monounsaturated oils, third one is polyunsaturated omega-6 oils and fourth one is polyunsaturated omega-3 oils. We will now know about each category of this oil, what are all the examples under a particular category and what makes that particular category good or bad in a particular context. Based on whether the oil is good or bad, I have given the rating of 1 to 3. If the rating is 3, it is a good oil or fat. If the rating is 1, it is a bad oil and rating 2 is in between. First one is saturated fat. Saturated fat contains saturated fatty acids within it. These saturated fats are healthy only when you take along with the low carbohydrate food. If you are taking high carbohydrate food and if you are taking these saturated fats, these are highly unhealthy. If you are on low carbohydrate diet and if you take saturated fats, these are very healthy. If you take this saturated fat along with high carbohydrate food, this can produce obesity, this can produce diabetes, this can produce blocks in the heart and a lot of diseases related to the women's reproductive organs. That's the reason when you are consuming these fats, you have to be aware that you should be on low carbohydrate diet. That means you should be taking carbohydrate less than 50 grams per day. Then these saturated fats are very healthy. First one is coconut oil. 
coconut oil is one of the best oils available to human beings and i have given the rating of 3 for it everyone can use coconut oil without any problem next one is ghee and it is also very good and i have given the rating of 3 next one is butter butter is also made from the milk and it is also very good and i have given the rating of 3 along with that you have lard lard is made with the fat of a pig it is also highly healthy and i have given the rating of 3 next one is tallow tallow is made from the fat of beef or cow it is also very healthy the important thing you have to remember when you are consuming animal product is to ensure that the animal is healthy is organically fed or wild caught then only these products are healthy otherwise these products become unhealthy due to contamination of toxins antibiotics when you have lot of farm grown animals consuming unnatural food these becomes unhealthy you have to ensure these fats are coming from healthy animals next category is mono unsaturated oils these oils are very famous even though i recommend whenever you are consuming oils you should be on low carbohydrate food due to lack of choice if you want to combine carbohydrate with oil you can use this i am not saying this is good when you take with high carbohydrate diet this is bad but compared to saturated fats use these kinds of oils when you are on high carbohydrate diet even though i am not saying that is good better than saturated fats these mono saturated oils are neither good nor bad they will not cause any harm or they will not cause any good when you combine it with low carbohydrate food but when you have no choice and if you want to take with carbohydrate food you can use them even though these are not good but compared to saturated fatty acid these are better but normally these oils will not cause any harm or will not cause any benefit to the human being whenever you are taking with low carbohydrate food. first one is olive oil olive oil i have given the rating of 3 you can consume olive oil next one is palm olive oil for palm olive oil i have given the rating of 3 next one is palm oil palm oil also i have given the rating of 3 these three oils can be used next two categories polyunsaturated omega 6 and polyunsaturated omega 3 oils comes under the category of polyunsaturated fats before going to next individual categories you have to compare and contrast omega 6 oils and omega 3 oils it is very important in polyunsaturated fatty acids there are omega 6 and omega 3 oils omega 6 oils and omega 3 oils are antagonistic oils they act exactly in opposite way normally what happens is in every human being you need a bit of inflammation and also the things that counteract the inflammation the homeostasis between the inflammation and anti inflammation should be maintained this homeostasis is maintained with the help of these two oils coming to omega 6 oils these are pro inflammatory these causes inflammation in your body whereas omega 3 fats this decreases the inflammation in our body this needs to be in a certain ratio the normal ratio is 1 is to 1 if you have one part of omega 6 you need to have one part of omega 3 but the acceptable ratio is 4 is to 1 you can have four parts of omega 6 and one part of omega 3 but in the current context due to our faulty diet what is happening is this ratio is damaged this ratio is altered the ratio on an average human being now is 20 is to 1 we have 20 for omega 6 and only one for omega 3 the ratio is completely out so for every one part of omega 3 you have 20 parts of omega 6 what it means is it causes inflammation in your body because of the inflammation you age fast there are lot of pains in your body there are lot of degeneration happening in your body because of this mismatched ratio that's the reason you have to understand about this what it mean for you is you need to reduce the consumption of oils which has more omega 6 fatty acids you need to dramatically increase the consumption of oils which has omega 3 fatty acids to get this into balance coming to omega 6 oils as i suggested normal these should be taken along with the low carbohydrate diet but if you have no choice even though it is unhealthy you can take small quantity of it along with the high carbohydrate diet than compared to saturated fatty acids most of these oils are coming from vegetable seeds these oils are common oils used by everyone that's the reason as the human being started to consume more of these oils that's the reason omega 6 fatty acids have become increased in our body this will cause early aging pains in the body inflammation in the body heart blocks and this is responsible for most of the degenerative diseases which the human beings are suffering now that's the reason these oils has to be stocked or to be taken to the minimum quantity when i come to the individual oils let's check how i have rated these oils these oils are bad 
because they contain high amount of omega-6 fatty acids. I will let you know the quantity of omega-6 fatty acids present in each oil for 100 grams. For example, if you take 100 grams of this oil, in that how many grams of omega-6 oils are present in this, I will let you know so that you can appreciate that these are unhealthy. First oil is groundnut oil. In groundnut oil, for every 100 grams, we have 29.9 grams of omega-6 oils in it or omega-6 fatty acids in it. Compared to other oils within this category, these are good. That's the reason I have given the rating of 2 for this. Next one is corn oil. Corn oil is used by most of the people. This is highly unhealthy because it contains 67.7 grams of omega-6 fatty acids in 100 grams. So that's the reason I have given the rating 1. This is not at all a good oil. Next one is cotton seed oil. Cotton seed oil is also used by most of the people. This contains 50.9 grams of omega-6 oils or omega-6 fatty acids for every 100 grams. That's the reason this is highly unhealthy. You should never be consuming it. That's the reason I have given the rating of 1 for this. Next oil is mustard oil. Mustard oil is good compared to other oils. It has only 18.1 grams of omega-6 fatty acids for 100 grams of oil. That's the reason I have given the rating of 3. Even though I don't recommend to use it, compared to other oils, this is good. Next one is rice bran oil. Rice bran oil contains 34 grams of omega-6 fatty acids per 100 grams of the oil. That's the reason I have given the rating of 1. This is a bad oil. You should not be consuming it. Next oil is sunflower oil. This is one of the famous oils used by anyone. But look into the amount of omega-6 fatty acids present in it. It is 66.5 grams of omega-6 fatty acids per 100 grams of oil. This is highly unhealthy, highly inflammatory. You should never consume this sunflower oil. That's the reason I have given the rating of 1 because there is no rating 0. If there is rating 0, I would have given the rating of 0 for this. Next oil is gingerly oil. Gingerly oil contains 44.5 grams of omega-6 fatty acids per 100 grams of oil. That's the reason I have given the rating of 1. This is also an unhealthy oil. Never ever consume it. Next oil is soya bean oil. This oil is also highly unhealthy. It contains 50.7 grams of omega-6 fatty acids per 100 grams of oil. That's the reason I have given the rating of 1 for this. Next comes the king of all oils. This oil is used by everyone. That is safflower oil and it is traded as a healthy oil. But the most unhealthy oil among all the oils is safflower oil. Look into the amount of omega-6 fatty acids present in it. It contains 73.5 grams of omega-6 fatty acids per 100 grams. This is highly unhealthy. I am giving the rating of 1 because there is no rating 0. And if allowed, I will give the rating of minus for this. It is not allowed. I am giving the rating of 1. Never ever consume this saw flower oil in any form. This is highly unhealthy oil. And coming to one more important topic related to omega-6 fats or omega-6 oils is whether to consume refined oils or cold press oils. See why these oils are refined? Because these oils are highly unstable. They become rancid. They react with oxygen in the air and they become rancid. That's the reason the shelf life is very low for this. Commercially, it will not be beneficial to the corporate companies that are selling and making these oils. That's the reason they have come up with a new plan. They are refining these oils. When these oils are refined, they add a lot of chemicals into it. A lot of heating is done to it so that the oils become stable. For you, these refined oils are highly unhealthy because they have a lot of chemicals which can cause cancers in you as well. That's the reason. Always prefer cold press oils. If at all you are going with these oils, I don't recommend these oils, but always go with the cold press oils. I know these are a bit costly and have very low shelf life, but I always recommend to go with the cold press oils. Next category of oils is omega-3 oils. Omega-3 oils are fish origin. These are very important oils. These are exactly opposite to omega-6 fatty acids. There are a lot of benefits because of omega-3 fatty acids. These reduce the inflammation in the body. They prevent the heart blocks. They improve your brain capacity. They improve your skin. There are a lot of good about omega-3 fatty acids if you consume them. Omega-3 fatty acids are of fish origin. They are available only in fish in the form of fish oil or fish capsules. To get these oils, you have to consume fish or you have to take the fish oils from the store. These are highly healthy. Everyone should eat it. Whether you are a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian, you have to take this leverage and you have to take the fish oil in the pure form. And also, 
this omega 3 fatty acids are again divided into EPA and DHA whenever you are taking the fish capsules or omega 3 fatty acid capsules ensure that it contains both EPA and DHA i have seen some oils or capsules that has only EPA or only DHA these are not good you have to ensure that the capsule contains both EPA and DHA in in their ratios finally these are very good oils i am giving the rating of 3 because the highest rating is 3 if allowed i would have given the rating of 100 for this that's how important are these oils for a human being one more important topic about fats and oils is trans fats these are commercially known as dalda vanaspati or margarine so these are highly unhealthy because these oils are not natural oils these are not available in nature these oils are man made whenever a food material that is not naturally available in the environment is consumed by human being we will not have adaptations to assimilate it or metabolize it what happens is this directly goes into the heart cause causes block this causes obesity this causes lot of problems and this margarine or dalda or vanaspati is banned by almost all the countries unknowingly if you are taking it immediately stop this normally how this is made they take the vegetable oils and pump hydrogen into it this is called hydrogenation of oils you know that vegetable oils are in the liquid form and these are highly unstable to make them solid and to make them highly stable they introduce hydrogen into it by the process known as hydrogenation of oil but this is very unhealthy to human beings never ever consume hydrogenated oils in any form normally these kinds of oils is used in bakeries for making cakes pastries ice creams that's the reason never consume these bakery items and finally if all this information is confusing to you remember these three oils for cooking first best oil is coconut oil second best oil is groundnut oil and third best oil is mustard oil use these three oils irrespective of the circumstances and coming to the saturated fats you can take ghee lard tallow butter coconut oil all these three you can take but ensure that you are on low carbohydrate diet that is very important and the third oil is fish oil fish oil is highly healthy every human being whether he is a vegetarian or non vegetarian has to consume this oil it has lot of protective effects in the body and the worst and the bad oils are the vegetable oils like your sunflower oil safflower oil gingerly oil water rice bran oil all these oils which contains high amounts of omega 6 fatty acids never ever consume them this is dr bharadwaj i am a fitness specialist healthform fitness